If you are being tested for H. pylori bacteria, here is what you must know. First, you have to be off your PPI medication for at least 15 days. Otherwise, the science says you have a 56% chance of getting a false negative. That's more chance of an incorrect result than a correct one. The second thing to know, the most accurate test by far is an endoscopy, but the stool test, the blood test, the breath test are probably what you're gonna be offered first. And in a lot of cases, they don't give you a properly accurate result. Finally, it's important to note the H. pylori inside the mouth and the esophagus that could be interfering with your sphincter or creating pressure inside your stomach will not show up on your standard testing and it may not show up on your endoscopy either if it's just hiding in those regions. H. pylori can colonize the teeth and the tongue and the esophagus and the tonsils in that area and swallowing could be irritating to cause your reflux. Now, in my clients where on a rule out oral H. pylori, I take the pilot purge capsules, pour them into water, swish around your mouth, gargle and swallow. For me, that's the only way I know of killing H. pylori inside the math. Best of luck.